I just spoke to Emily, and she admitted that she lied to you. I, I never was involved with her, Rebecca. I, I didn't even want to ask her to the dance the other night, and I definitely never slept with her. Paul, no, I... No, no, I, I need you to, to believe me. I believe you. You do? It's great. I, I, so go ahead. About Emily. But you still have your secrets, don't you, pal? This is your notebook, isn't it? You know, I, I thought it was mine at first. But then I picked it up and opened it to this poem, and it was in your handwriting. Okay. Yeah, but it's just uh, notes for English lit. No, no, I don't think so. Looks like a rough draft to me. Like the early stages of the poem that was printed in today's campus newspaper. You remember, don't you, pal? It was signed Cyrano. It made me so sad to read this poem. It's just a poem. No, no, it's much more than that. It's, it's the only way that the poet can express the way he feels about the woman he loves. Like the rose that he writes about. Well, yeah, but uh, poets, they, they tend to make a big deal out of everything. Just listen. Like a dove in the air, I keep flying down to find love. I fly hoping she will see me. I fly in ways that I've never dared. From the world, the world I chose her. All she has to do is walk in, look at me. And then my heart turns like a rose to the sun. It is you. You are Cyrano, aren't you? You ought to be proud of that. You ought to publish your work under your own name instead of hiding behind Cyrano. Some things are just way too private. The more personal the feelings, the more you want to keep it to yourself. Or at least hide behind another name. But it's already been published in the school newspaper. Professor Spivax read it aloud in class. Why don't you come forward now? Because it was written for... For what? For someone. Someone who'd probably be embarrassed by them, if, if, if everyone knew who wrote them. No, you're wrong. I, I mean, I'm sure that someone would never feel embarrassed. She wouldn't? No, she'd feel honored. Very lucky. She would? I would. If I were she. Rebecca, there's something I have to tell you. She usually comes in here to study after she's put the kids to bed. Oh, when I got back from the casino, I volunteered as substitute babysitter. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no, of course not. Although it must have been very important for Rebecca to take a break from work. It was something to do with Powell. Oh? 
Yeah, I've got two of them, which make it a very nice little couple. They do, but they're the only ones that don't seem to realize it yet. Maybe they will in time, huh? I certainly hope so. Rebecca's been burned so many times. Yes. Angela Todd, for instance. She needs someone that she can count on, someone that she can trust to let her real feelings show. If you got the chance. Uh, Cyrano loves a good life, a good food, good wine. Well, I don't know about wine, but maybe we could go somewhere to eat. That's treat. No, no, no way. Uh, I'll make a reservation and we'll have a really great time. I'll think of someplace really nice. Okay, just let me know. I will. Pop, oh, come on, man. I found the last cubicle in the library. I've got somebody saving it for us. Oh, okay, Glenn, just, just one more minute. Uh, so we're definite about tomorrow night. Definitely, definite. Powell! Oh, would you chill out, Belinsky? Okay, uh, Rebecca, um, here. This is for you. Okay, now what's this stuff about genetic imprints? Is it like footprints or what? Hey, Sarah. Hi, Powell. Where are you going? Out. Well, I figured that. Out where? Sarah. To take the genie a sandwich. The genie? You've got a genie of your own? Yeah. Where do you keep them? Do you have a, a magic lantern? So where is he? He's in the garden set. <laughs> I know you can still dream. Don't let go of that. And please, don't shut me out. Just because you're afraid of what you did to me. That's got nothing to do with how I feel about you. Sure it doesn't. You must hate me after the things that I've done to you. No, I can't hate you. Because I fell in love with you. I gotta get closer than this, Rebecca. You don't have to keep them in an oil can or anything. Okay. So where is this genie of yours? He doesn't feel like coming out now. I've never met a genie before. Or at least I, I don't think I have. You know, we better get back to the house. It's pretty cold out here, huh? Isn't this Rebecca? How did I get out here? This is a genie board out here. Sarah, is there really, really a genie out here? Yeah. Okay, well, what do you say we go looking for him? Yeah. 